it is precisely now, when we have stepped back from the confrontation in Idlib, that we should be saying, let us put this real political process in place and build some confidence building around it. Frankly, dear friends, the Syrian people have the right to expect that, especially at this moment. And there is no doubt at all that if that process goes moving and was generally delivering, it would help unlock many, many other things. We've lived with slogans for so long, and slogans resonate very, very well, but can we implement those slogans? And who is the victim of raising slogans that all of us know cannot be implemented? It is the Syrian people again. So I think, you know, there, there is a need for a reality check. Let's get together, let's get towards a political solution, let's identify what is it that we want out of a political solution, and let's be realistic. Most Syrians don't want to go back to a country where there is no accountability and where political detainees are still in jail. The people of Syria ask for the end of the war and for a negotiated political solution. And this would be, we believe, the only realistic basis for a sustainable peace. Because military victory does not necessarily imply winning the peace.